I have decided to attempt to make a cake that I learned about from Facebook. It was posted by a site or a page called Old Fashioned Homemade Recipes and it's called A Lemon Cake to Die For. Um, I put out the ingredients. It looks really good and a friend of mine in North Carolina made it and she messaged me back and she says oh my goodness you're gonna love it. Here are the, the ingredients. You'll need a box of cake, uh, yellow cake mix. We're gonna do it the easy way. A small box of instant pudding and three quarters. Well, I'll show you. Here's four eggs. I'm gonna leave them out to room temperature for a little bit. I've heard by people that actually bake that that's the best way to do. So four eggs, a box, small box of the instant lemon pudding and then you will need some oil and of course the other ingredient that you'll need to finish that off is water which I didn't set that out then once you've done that I don't know if you can even see in this picture it's got like a yummy gooey they're calling it a glaze on the top and that's put on after it's done and it consists of powdered sugar and I make my stuff I can do this to where all of this is prepper pantry um, some people don't agree with me taking box mixes and taking them out and putting them either in a jar and vacuum sealing them or put them in a mylar but here's my powdered sugar that I did back in last year I didn't put the date for some reason it's still, it's vacuum sealed, and it's got a little um, silica gel pack in there. And see, it's still, it's still viable and good. So I'm gonna do confectioner sugar on that. This is real butter, none of that fake stuff. It's genuine, and lemon juice. So let me let the eggs finish getting room temperature, and then we'll come back and get started. Okay, this is the 9 by 13 pan I'm going to use. I decided to use this one because it's got a cover. Um, and I can already tell this is going to be very moist, so I won't want to cover it. And I've got it preheating. I'm just going to spray it with this. This is just the regular vegetable oil, but you get whatever you like. I buy the inexpensive stuff. Alright, now here is the four eggs and it says beat the eggs. There's four. Okay, sorry about the sound. And then it says mix in the cake mix, so I don't think that requires the, the do that. All right, I've already opened that. Hopefully this will be in the range, so I'm going to put that in there. There's a cake mix. I'm so proficient in the kitchen. My expertise is in the eating, okay? That's where I'm gifted. Eating. All right, and there's the jello. Says mix the cake mix, the lemon pudding. Good grief. Have you ever seen anything like that? That's ridiculous. Okay, here's three quarter cup of oil and three quarter cup of the water and we're going to mix it in. I'm going to use 
use this. Let's stir it up. It's already smelling good just with that lemon. I almost thought about doing an orange juice cake um, with those oranges that I got at the um, farm share last week, but I'm enjoying drinking it too much. So, all right, that should be good enough. Let me bring you over here. Pour it in. Just pour it right on in. My crazy kids, they say hello. That's Chihuahua for hello, how you's doing? They're out on, I left the, it's a beautiful day out there today, so I left the door open. Get it a scraper for Pete's sake. For Pete's sake, Granny. And I thought I was getting all, all the ingredients and everything ready to save time. Okay. I'll spread it just a little bit. And then here in just a moment, that bell will go off and in the oven it's going to go. I'll get back with you. All right, the beeper just went off. It's ready. So I'm going to put it here. And it says 30 to 35 minutes. I'm going to do 30 and then I'll check it. So we're off to the races. All right. Somehow, looking at it from this end, it looks like this is a lot darker than it is. But the cake is ready, and it the directions are saying to poke holes in it with, let's see, poke holes in the cake with a wooden spoon and pour the glaze over it. Well. A friend of mine, that same friend of mine that made it the other day from North Carolina, said that she did that, and here's the picture she sent. Those holes are huge. That's one thing she told me. And the other thing she told me is that she put it on hot, because it didn't indicate otherwise, and instead of it being a nice glaze, it just sort of melted immediately she said but either way it was very very tasty and very moist all right in here rather than you see step by steps because this is simply two cups of the powdered sugar two tablespoons of the melted butter and I use real butter um, and it was a third cup of lemon juice and it says two tablespoons of water. And so now all I'm going to do, now that I've poked holes in this, yes, I'm a rebel. I am a rebel. I make it up. So I'm going to pour this over here. Um, one of the recipes that I saw with a coconut cake, and I don't think I've shared that with y'all. Man, it was good. And I was spooning some of it over. All right, that's evidently, I let that set too long. See what happens? If you follow directions, it probably goes a bit better. But what do I know? Like I said, I'm a rebel. 
do my own thing. I was looking for my little paint, my little paintbrush thing for food. Are you kidding me? I need to hire somebody. I just even bought a new one the other day. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of, this is one that's only used on food. I didn't mix that as good as it should have. Hey, you can't get quality help here. So we're going to let that completely soak in and we'll come back. Found it. <laughs> It doesn't matter, but now I'm going to let that sit and let it cool off a little bit, and then I'm going to do the taste test, which is my favorite part. All right, now here's the moment of truth. I didn't let it cool off completely, but here it is. It does have a bit of a glaze on it. I don't know if you can see the shininess. I'm the type that it seems like there should have been more of that to go on the top. But here it is, the first bite. I really would share this with you if I could. <laughs> Probably not. Alright, here it goes. Mmm. That is good. I mean, make sure, you know, sometimes you got to try it twice. Oh, yeah. That was nice and moist. I almost, excuse me, I almost think I would make a little bit more of the stuff to go on top. And I left it on exactly 30 minutes. Down here, I think my stove may be hotter than some because it almost always cooks a little faster than some but anyway this is very good and of course here's my glass of milk if it hadn't been so hot I would have done me a cup of coffee but I don't want to turn on my air yet I could be wrong but a part of me thinks it's in the rule book that if you eat something like this you either need to drink milk or coffee with it like I said I could be wrong I meant to look it up in the rule book but you do you. Again, I'm kidding. All right, scripture alert. And then we're wrapping it up and done. This is Romans 12. Um, Romans chapter 14, verses 12 through 14. I just felt sometimes we need a little bit more of an encouraging word. So, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh, to fulfill the lust thereof. So, um, turn to the Lord. Get This is not even a prepper thing, but this can all be done with prepper supplies as long as you have chickens for your eggs or as long as you buy the, like, Augustine Farm eggs or one of those other egg or you learn to substitute eggs, like with applesauce or whatever. Love you guys. I hope it's beautiful where you are, because it is just a beautiful day today that the Lord hath made. Take care. Bye.